guys, it's DJ Wonder Chrissy, and it's a wonderful, beautiful Sunday morning here in the Midwest, and it is going to be 85 degrees. It was 90 here yesterday, and 95 the day before that, so getting a little heat, getting a little heat. Um, so let's start with the wonderful debt ceiling has now been, uh, the crisis has been averted, but... I'm here to tell you that the crisis is still going on. Um, by what our government has done, has done nothing more than kick the can down the road. Um, we will, we didn't default this year, this month, but we will be defaulting in the near future, folks. That is the truth. You can take that to the bank. Um, as I said, the can has just been kicked down the road for another couple of years. We're adding another $4 trillion of debt onto the national debt, um, of which we think it's like almost $32 trillion. Um, that doesn't include Social Security and Medicare, which is like over $180 trillion. Um, and the debt, the debt, the debt uh, keeps going on, folks. We've got um, we've got credit card debt almost hitting one trillion dollars. Student loan debt is at one point seven trillion dollars, and uh, it it just keeps getting worse. Keeps getting worse. You're gonna see the Fed rate is going to be increased next two weeks they're going to raise it another quarter percent at least um, you're going to see home mortgages this year you know mark my words mark my words home mortgages are going to be at 10 percent real soon um, car loans car loans right now are at um, the average is nine percent so the average person is really having a hard time to finance a car um you know, the repos, another bad sign. The repos, which were kind of segregated in the subprime um, space, has now bled into the normal car purchaser or the person with an average credit rating. So you're seeing uh, the repo market surging still. As people lose their jobs, they can't afford gas, can't afford the cars, can't afford their insurance. Um, there's just no shortage of bad news to go around. And, and I'm here to tell you that um, the economy is, is slowly collapsing around. Just get up, take a look around, look around at the commercial properties that are empty in your neighborhood. Look at the malls that are blighted and, uh, you know, going under. There's no... There's no shortage of bad signs to be seen, but some people just don't want to see them. That's, there's the problem. So staying with the cars, let's talk about EVs. You guys all know if you watch this channel at all that I do not like EVs. And the reason I don't like EVs is because the technology is not mature. Um, and by that I mean if it was mature, I'd be able to keep a car for 20 to 25 years. EVs and hybrids, when you buy that car now, it has pretty much an expiration date like milk on it. They only last 10 to 12 years and then the batteries go bad. And even if you have a hybrid and the batteries go bad, the whole car goes, the whole car uh, fails to work. So, you know, I'm here to tell you, I mean, I've got, I've got people in my family, I've got three people I know of that have either bought a Tesla or a hybrid. Um, what their reasoning was is beyond me. Actually, one of them just bought a brand new Hyundai e, uh, hybrid. And I, I don't know why you'd want to buy a car that you can only keep for 10 to 12 years, but that's what they did. Um, you know, it's their money. If they want to waste it. That's their problem. Um, but here, listen to this video. We had a couple of weeks ago, we had the CEO of Ford saying out loud the part that everyone was thinking. He even admits that the EV sector is 
not mature and has issues and he's admitting to his purchasers of you know a hundred a hundred thousand dollars you can pay for a Ford F-150 Lightning these days um, just stop by your dealership and ask but those people are paying a hundred thousand dollars for a truck which is not supposed to be used to tow uh, trailers and things of that nature and has limited range so there's the CEO telling you this yet people going out and buying these things for some vehicle uh, some customers they are but not for everyone <laughs> if you're if you're pulling a fifth wheel in in Wyoming you you probably don't want to own an electric vehicle but if you have three cars in your household and one's for you know short distances running around town or you know a hundred two hundred mile range it's a better car uh, okay. so it's totally dependent on the customer what are the benefits for that person who would for whom it's the second or third car for most people, the, the, the operating costs are much lower. Why? Because the EV components replace very complicated engine transmissions, drive shafts, uh, differentials that break. So it's a lot, lot more reliable, a lot less cost after you buy the vehicle. You tell me down below who's the crazy one when, uh, you know, there's people out there telling you that the technology is not mature and it has drawbacks, this and that, and um, yet people are going out and buying it. <clears throat> and the other thing, so so the people I know in my family that bought the Tesla, I asked them, you know, hey, I hear that, it, you know, charging a Tesla is like uh, running uh, 10 to 14 refrigerators in your house. They had no reply to that. They did tell me, though, that tel Tesla has an application that tells you when the best time to charge your car is. <laughs> So what, what is that telling you? That's telling me that Teslas are expensive to charge if they're trying to tell you exactly when the cheapest point is to charge them. So, um, you know, if you want to buy a hybrid or a Tesla, it's up to you. But you, if you do, you're a fool. Okay, enough of that. Um, so what else can we talk about? Let's, let's talk about, here's a tip for you. Um... Twice in the last month, I've had issues where I went into a store and I bought multiple items of one thing. And after I after I stepped away from the register, I found out that, oops, they they rang up the multiple items wrong in some way, shape, or form. Two stores this happened: once at Menards, the other one was Friday at uh, Aldi's, which I love. I love Aldi's, and and they treated it. They treated me well. Once the issue was found, and in this case, what happened? I I go to all these almost every week. My orders near eighty to one hundred and twenty bucks without fail. So this time I was at all these. I was ringing ringing up, and I had a small I had a small cart, so it wasn't a, it wasn't heaping full or anything this week. Halfway through my my uh, my, my uh, cart. The register was ringing like $138, and I almost I almost had a, a, a conniption fit. Man, $138 only halfway through. <laughs> Come to find out, the register scanner guy, uh, I had bought two bags of uh, red apples, delicious apples, and he had rung it up as 21 bags. Um, so there you go. So both times I've had issues, it's been, you know, multiple, when I was buying multiple items and the register people fat fingered something or just weren't paying attention or inputted the wrong number. So word to the wise, make sure that you, uh, look at your register receipt before you leave the store, because there's a lot of mistakes happening. And I, I firmly believe that you should not pay for stuff that you do not get. Um, and I did not buy 21 bags of apples, so there you go. Um, last topic for today, you know, it, it's I live in, we're living in Chicago here, and uh, all the rage this weekend is Taylor Swift. She's done two shows, got one more left tonight. Um, seems to be going well for the Swifties out there. They've all paid their two thousand dollars a ticket. And uh, enjoying their uh, three, I guess she puts on a three-hour concert for you. 
which is good. So no major problems with crime or anything that I've heard of and uh, it related to the, the Swift concert. But, you know, hey, we live in Chicago. There's just average normal crime every weekend in the city. And, you know, when it gets hot like this, it has a tendency to uh, expand a little bit. So uh, I think I checked the papers today and uh, just a normal weekend, you know, several people that didn't make it and, oh, 10 to 15 people that were wounded. So um, be careful out there. Be careful out there with the raising of the debt limit. As I said, as raising of the debt limit is not going to solve anything for us, folks. It's actually going to make things worse. So you need to be aware of what's going on around you. You need to be aware that you need to, to get out of the system. You need to get some gold and silver. But that's not financial advice. That is just what I'm doing. And you need to stock up on canned goods because... Uh, Bad things are happening around us all over. You just don't realize it, but you need to stop and look. So that's all I have for this beautiful day here in the Midwest. It's DJ Wonder Chrissy over and out. See ya.